Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm back with a little bit of an overdue haul. This is the result of some Labor Day sales, some, I don't even know, some, it's September and it's my birthday month so you can spend shopping, and just some stuff that was sent to me as well, so I'm really excited to jump in. It's not too big, but there are definitely a lot more things coming in the future because, again, the Labor Day sales and the birthday shopping got me good, but this is just a little taste of the stuff that has arrived within the past two or so weeks, so let's just jump right in. To start off the haul, I'm going to show you some items from Planner Bell Press. I have a really good coupon for Planner Bell Press. I'm going to have it linked down below, as well as any coupons for the shops that I show that I happen to have. One thing that I do want to mention, though, you guys, uh, within a video, just to kind of keep my down bar a little bit more clean and not too overwhelming, I usually just show the coupon codes for the shops that I mention in the video or that I use in the plan with me or that I show in the haul. However, if you're looking for the coupon codes that I have for other shops that are not in the video, you should definitely join my Facebook group. The link is down below. And in the group, not only is it awesome because we chat and we share like our hauls on there and we just have a good time, I also have a file uploaded to the group where I have a full list of all the coupon codes that all shops have given me or even just ones that I happen to have for you guys to just access whenever you need to and I'm constantly updating it so definitely check that out the links for everything will be down below however for Planner Bell Press I will have my coupon down below in this video because I'm mentioning it in this video so first I placed an order for this kit and this is called the Boho Chic Kit First we have the deco, and I'm sure some of you guys have seen this artwork before. It's really popular. It's from Bloomsicle, and she's a super popular graphic artist right now. Um, I just love this clip art. It's so cute. It's all about like photography and just cute fall things. So I like that I get like a full deco sheet with Planner Bell Press. Next we have this sheet which has your headers, little things, a lot of sidebar headers, some of these sort of triple checklists, a habit tracker, I think this is either, no this is a full box, and your weekend banner. She's recently undergone a reformat from the other kits that I've shown on my channel and I really really like what she's done. Next we have this sheet right here, let me zoom out just a little bit. So on this sheet we have our checklist two weekly boxes, a spending tracker which is really cool, I like how that one looks, some more deco and some of this sort of functional deco like a planner, lazy day, date night, a balloon and then we have a lot of icons so I really really like what she's done here and the reason that I chose her rendition of this art is because I really like the colors. We have a few dark colors but then it's also offset by some really nice pastels like this cooler blue and this beigey pink. I love when a pastel is done well. <laughs> the third sheet that we have here has date covers built in which is great, some labels, some smaller checklists and all your half boxes as well as some more deco. She also reformatted her little things recently and I like them, they're a little bit thicker so I like to do that for no white space. We have some work boxes, a hydration tracker and then the bill due stickers. Here we have the full boxes which are super gorgeous and I like that they're a little bit darker like these two are quite dark brown or black I think that that's really pretty and then lastly we have the bottom washi for this kit and the washi strips as well as four um, little appointment boxes so one thing that I really really love about Planner Bell Press is that her kits are super affordable. This kit with seven pages was just $11.95 in matte, but I did do the glossy upgrade which is $0.75 cents a sheet. I can't do that math in my head right now, but still really affordable. And she also does offer Happy Planner sizing, so if you're a Happy Planner person, definitely check it out. And Alyssa was super sweet and she knows that it is my birthday month. So with this order, she also sent an extra kit, which is also really, really gorgeous. And I saw when she released this, because uh, it was the same time that she released the Boho She kit, it was super popular and everybody was getting upset because it was selling out. So thank you so much, Alyssa, for including this for me. It's gorgeous. So this is called the Fashionista kit. 
first we just have some deco and it's really cute and I think I'm going to be saving this for the holidays like Black Friday because we have the red but we also have a little bit of green and then the little presents and stuff. It is very beauty themed but I think it's also sort of shopping themed so I think it'll be really nice for Black Friday. Here we have the headers, the weekend banner and some of the functional stickers. This functional sheet again with the same sort of stuff and it has the deco, the checklist, and the icons. We have the sheet with the date covers, half boxes, everything is in the same format so I'm going to go through it a little bit quickly. The little things and sidebar stickers. The bottom washi which is simple and I like that and then the washi is done almost like a newspaper print. And then we have the really, really pretty full boxes. And this quote says, Life isn't perfect, but your outfit can be, which is so cute. And I love the girls. And again, I like the little touches of the green. I think this would be really nice for the holidays if you aren't too into Christmas or don't want anything too festive. I think this is a good rendition. So thank you so much, Alyssa. She also included a few random sheets. So we have these tassels. I already have these and I like to use them to mark special occasions. She also sent this sheet right here which is the colored half and single checklist. And I think that these little single checklists are so cute. And then lastly she sent me the little birthday bells. She sells these little girls on her shop and they're called her little bells because she's Planner Bell Press. And this is a little birthday bell. Uh, her birthday's in the same month as mine. I believe it's a little bit before mine. So happy belated birthday, Alyssa. And we just have little bell, which is like holding her little present and has her little birthday hat on. So again, that is everything from Planner Bell Press. Be sure to check down below for a coupon code. The next stickers that I have to show you guys are from Glitter Mama Co. And these are from Anna, or I think it's just Anna Plans on Instagram. I follow her. She has a great page. And she offered to send me some stuff from her new shop. It just opened up recently. And I'm really excited to share them with you guys. But I'm sort of sad because I had the little, little sampler freebie that she included with the package. And I can't find it. And I actually really liked it. It had like a cute little coffee cup and some glitter stuff on it. So I'm upset. But I'm still excited to show you what I got. So first we have these two sheets of stickers right here. These are the hues of purple and rose gold half boxes. They're done in gorgeous gold glitter and I think that they're beautiful. All of her stickers I just checked are on non-removable glossy. So they're all glossy and they're all really, really beautiful. I love glossy stickers, you guys know that. And these are just as good as any other glossy stickers out there. Really gorgeous print quality. And I'm so excited to use these soon after mentioning them in the haul because I think that they will be gorgeous for the upcoming months, especially towards the end of September and getting into fall. These colors are amazing and I love that you get so many. So next, Anna sent me two personal kits. This one is called Dark Beauty, and this is actually a horizontal personal kit. So this is intended for people that use personal size inserts, but that are horizontal. And I find that nobody really does white space with that style, which is why I'm assuming it's just one sheet, really functional, a weekend banner, icons, little headers, little boxes. These are so cute. And little checklists. And then you also get some of that really cute little functional deco. I think that this is really, really great if you're a simple planner in your horizontal style, especially if you have like a Kate Spade planner and you have the Kate Spade inserts this would be so good for that but you still get two washi strips to keep everything cohesive then this is a vertical personal kit so it does come with two sheets this one is called dream on very very pretty on this sheet you have two half boxes headers checklist a bill do sticker some labels a habit tracker a weekend banner a triple heart checklist over here you have some icons a weekly box a few full boxes, half boxes, flags, and then on both sheets you get washi. So I think it's gorgeous and this is $7 for two sheets which is really affordable considering it's on glossy. So these are so pretty and I'm actually excited to try this out. I do still have my horizontal Kate Spade inserts that just came with my Kate Spade planner and I think this is a nice sort of simple and not too Halloween-y sort of kit to use for Halloween. So if you guys would like to see something like that, something simple and functional, please let me know. And then lastly, Anna did send me a kit and this is called the Fall in Love Kit. So I'll go through it really quickly. First, we have the full boxes here, and this is done in a wood grain. It's a very sort of rustic, woody <laughs> sort of fall kit. It's really pretty. 
this quote says, don't forget to fall in... Oh, I can't read. This quote says, darling, don't forget to fall in love with yourself first. We've got some hearts and the little twinkle lights, which I think are so pretty. It's a very soft kit. The headers are all done in a soft script. And then you get the half boxes. This sheet has your little things, weekend banner, weekly box, labels, habit tracker, icons, flags, a build you sticker, and a label and circle. Then we have the really simple checklist boxes, which are just done with little squares. And then we have the bottom washi, which again is really, really pretty. I love the little lights against the wood grain. I think it's so nice. Very, it reminds me like being in like a little cabin in the fall. I think it's very pretty. So that is everything from Glitter Mama Co. I think it's all gorgeous. I believe Anna did include a coupon code, but for the life of me, I cannot find the card. So I will get in touch with her and everything should be in the down bar. So thank you so much, Anna. Next, I have a super small little order from Scribble Prints Co. I ordered the Misfit Grab Bag from our shop, and what this is is basically just a variety. I think 10 sheets here for $20 of things that didn't quite make the cut for the shop. And in my experience, I think I've purchased these twice before, and I like them because they include stuff from different collections and kits, but I find that it's really, really great for sort of building up your planner collection and just getting some of the basics. So I'll go through it really quickly. First, we have this sheet here, and I believe this is from like a beachy kit that she had earlier this summer. Uh, this has four half boxes, a weekly box, two full boxes, a tracker, a tracker, a checklist, and then some headers and little things. So basically what I would do for this is really just cut it down into its parts. I would definitely keep the ombre weekly because not all kits come with those. These half boxes I can definitely use, especially the plain ones. So I cut these out and put them in my little half box folder. And then I have a blank checklist over here that I can use anytime that I need one. I've got headers. I find that these are always so great to pull in when you don't have enough for a kit. Next we have some of these May colored uh, full boxes. These were just like the May color scheme. She just, this wasn't really a kit, but they're really pretty. You can use these as little fillers if you don't exactly have a kit, but you have some things that might match with it. Here we have the May monthly bottom washi, and this is really pretty. It's done on matte, but I think that I can definitely pull this into like a layer over other washi if I'm doing a spread. I think that it's really pretty. I would just use it the same way that I use like my glitter tape. Next we have this functional sheet here. This is from the Shoshana kit. I did do a spread using this kit, so I actually am happy that I got it again. Aside from having so much deco, I'm not sure if I'll use all the deco. Having the little flags and teardrops and these checklists in good colors and these little triple heart checklists, I can definitely cut down and save. We have the same thing but for the Hello May kit. Uh, this is great because it's literally all pink aside from this box and you guys know that I always use pink in my kits and I can always pull these in and then these are just done in glitter. I'll probably not use the Hello May but I can definitely save the weekend banner if a kit doesn't come with one. Next we have some little things and headers. Again, I don't, I don't know which kit this was from. I feel like I can see it in my head but I'm not sure. Maybe one of the mermaid ones but I can definitely save this to pull in if a kit doesn't have some headers or little things. We have these checklists which is great. I can always use extra checklists. And then we have a few sheets. Oh, I think that these are all. I think these four sheets are all from one mystery kit, which is this mystery kit right here. I think this might have been June or July. And this is all from that little carnival themed kit. I uh, actually didn't get this kit because I wasn't too keen on the carnival theme. I don't really like red or yellow, but I can definitely see myself just breaking these stickers down into their parts and just saving things because, especially as the holidays come up and we get deeper into fall and stuff, I can see myself using this berry color a lot. I can always use pink, and in the summertime I can always use yellow. So, I don't really purchase these 
little misfit grab bags with the intentions of expecting like a full kit to use from them. I know that that's not likely to happen, but when you really break it down into parts and you get a few of these especially, you have stuff to like set you for a long time. I got some a few months ago and whenever I need something extra, I think you guys can even hear me in my videos, I just find things from Scribble Prints Co. because I have so many of them from these little misfit grab bags and like overstock bags. I think that this is a really good way to sort of build up your collection. Next, I'm really excited because I actually have two separate orders from Caress Press, so I will show them to you together. First, I purchased the September Mystery Kit, and it's called the Swan Lake Kit. I think that by now, everybody's seen this already, so I don't feel too bad about showing it. And this time around, I actually purchased a mini kit. Usually, I always get full kits, but I've noticed that I've seen a trend with all of my favorite planner people and people that I watch on YouTube and that I follow online. I feel like people are shifting again towards having a little bit more white space in their planners. And me, I have a very fluid planner identity. I kind of just go with the flow. There are definitely things that I like to do, but honestly, if I see a lot of people doing white space, it definitely makes me want to try some white space again. If I see a lot of people using glitter, I get into glitter headers. Like, I, I, I'm honest. I, that's just the kind of person I am. I love um, taking things from people and I think that that's such a good thing about the planner communities that we can all learn from each other. So this time around I did get the mini kit with the intentions of doing a little bit more of a white space spread. I also saw Ruby Trev get the mini kit for the September, no the August kit. I got that one. It was the black and white and red kit. And even though it was the mini kit, she mentioned that it came with so many stickers. So and it definitely did. I mean I got the mini kit this time. First of all we get glitter headers. I didn't know that I was going to get these, but I think that they were included, which is awesome. Especially because this is a mini kit, so it doesn't come with many headers, like a full set. I can just substitute for glitter headers, and I have a full set of glitter headers, which is amazing. We have this first sheet here, which comes with six half boxes, uh, two triple heart checklists, a full checklist, a habit tracker, two bill dues, just a little assortment of headers, and a weekly box. We have the gorgeous full boxes. This kit was called Swan Lake, so it's definitely like a little swan theme, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but all of the little swans have crowns on them, so they're so cute. I think that this is a great sort of transitional kit because we've got some of the lighter pastels with like the darker berries and greens. Next we have my favorite sheet, which is the functional sheet with all of the gorgeous functional type deco and script fonts up there checklist, a weekend banner, all your icons and your flags. And then lastly, we get the full bottom washi and washi strips. So I think this will be great to either do a no white space full spread kit or also a plan with me, or not, not a plan with me, a plan as I go. I'm noticing that as I do plan as I goes with like full sized kits, I'm really not using the entire thing because I find myself pulling a lot of outside stickers when I do plan as I go. It gets me a little bit more creative. So I definitely think you're going to be seeing more small kits or mini kits specifically for plan as I go so I'm thinking I might do that with this I think it's really really pretty next I purchased the enchanted kit oh god guys I'm so excited about this but really quickly first I'll show you the little freebie that came with the kit isn't this just stunning like I think that it's so beautiful and the deco is gorgeous but look at these um, glitter colors I think that these colored boxes and labels and flags would look so good with the half boxes from Glitter Mama Co. Let me see if I get them really quickly. Yeah, here we are. I could pull these in with this and just use this with another kit or even do like a simple spread with these colors. I'm all about this sort of like cocoa color and the glitter. It's incredible. And how cute is that deco, you guys? So, like I said, I got the Enchanted kit. Uh, this features clip art from Canon or the Cheeky Darling and I love her stuff. So I'll go through the kit really quickly. I did get the full kit for the Enchanted kit from Caress Press because I definitely want to do a full no white space spread. So this first sheet here has the script deco and all of the pretty functional deco. Then we have the weekend banner checklist icons and flags. Next we have this sheet which has all eight of your half boxes, some label boxes, triple heart checklists, and then we also have the adorable, adorable date covers. Oh, I love these. They're little carriages, like little pumpkin carriages. So I'm sure you guys have like guessed the theme by now. 
We've got our little things and the headers. I love the incorporation of this sort of cool lilac color along with the dark blue. Some other people that had done renditions of this kit had done it in all blue tones, but I like the incorporation of the purple, especially for September. We have the heart checklist with the sort of patterns dropped into the background, which is gorgeous. We have the bottom washi, and that's another thing that made me want to get this kit. I love the big graphic flowers down here. I think that they're gorgeous. Then we have this sheet which has your weekly boxes, two habit trackers, two build dues, a really cute uh, little appointment sort of box with a little clock in the shape of a heart, and then a flight tracker, and then we have the deco. So this is definitely a sort of Cinderella inspired kit. I think it's really dark but really beautiful. And then lastly, we have the full boxes. And the reason that I got this kit in particular, or I really wanted a kit with this art, was because Once Upon a Time is coming back at the end of the month. I'm a big Once Upon a Time fan. And even though if you watch Once Upon a Time, you guys might know that Cinderella is not really relevant at all. I just thought that the whole sort of fairy tale and sort of dark vibe was perfect for it. And then the reason that I wanted this kit in particular was because of the purple and it's coming back at the end of September when we still have some purple in our planner so I definitely wanted to use this. I think that it's beautiful and I can't wait. I was going back and forth between whether or not I wanted to get it and of course I just had to bite the bullet and get it because it is incredible. So this is the Enchanted kit and I believe that this is still available in her shop. Next I have an order from a new shop and I had to keep it in its packaging because it was so cute. I already did tear into it but I tried to make it seem as like unnoticeable as possible but it comes in like this really beautiful black envelope which you open up and it has a card here so this is from paper dove shop and she actually included a little bit of an extra because she loves my videos so thank you so much Alexandra but I purchased a kit because I noticed that Jesenia or the Planner Sophisticate had placed an order and I just love the style and then I also mentioned on my Facebook group I was chatting with you guys and I like to just ask like when I'm feeling spendy what shops people are buying from and a few different people had mentioned Paper Dove Shop so I decided to take the leap I also just wanted to show you that the packaging comes with a little a little feather and it says lovey dovey which is so cute it's so cute it's those little details that really make uh, an experience when you're shopping so I got one kit, but she also sent an extra. And guys, this is going to definitely be one of my next like major shops that I buy from a lot. Mainly for one reason. Obviously because the stickers are really beautiful and the quality is there and it just comes with everything that I love. But she is so close to me that I could probably just like stop by and pick up my stickers if I wanted to. That's creepy, but I love the fact that I'll probably get all of my orders for the most part if the USPS is not being the usual paid in my butt that it is within like a day. Oh gosh, this is going to like feed into my sticker need and addiction more than anything, so get ready for that. So I purchased this kit right here. This is called the Page Kit. And this is another set of clip art from Bloomsicle, which is gorgeous. It's like a planner girl kit done in like rose gold and coppery shades with navy. So beautiful. And again, this is kind of becoming the situation when I purchase kits that have this artwork. I see, I follow Bloomsicle on Instagram myself. So just because she doesn't make stickers. That doesn't keep her from sharing the papers and clip art that she's going to be releasing. So I like keep my eye out for that. And then I see that she says that she's going to release some art or some papers. And I know that I have to stay tuned for shops that are going to make kits with it. And then it's kind of like a waiting game to see who comes out with like the best kit or what I want to try. It's really, really good in some ways because it lets you sample different shops knowing that nothing is going to be so unique that you won't be able to ever find it again. That's comforting in some ways, although I'm obviously also looking for things that are super unique. But I just love this and because I wanted to try out Paper Dove Shop, I decided to try out this art in her shop and I think it's beautiful. I'm so impressed. The first sheet that we have here is the gorgeous full boxes. So pretty. We've got a coffee cup. We've got the Eiffel Towers, clipboards, beautiful scissors, little planners, a girl holding her planner on the couch. So gorgeous. And all of her stickers are on a premium mat. 
so they're like a softer mat that's really really nice to write on and it prints so beautifully as well next we have the ombre heart checklists again with the beautiful colors I love this shade of like ballet pink along with like the coppery rose gold shade next we have this sheet which has some labels a flag your checklist as well as some half boxes here you get eight and they're so pretty I love when the clip art is dropped into the background we have this sheet with icons this gorgeous script font weekend banner I think that that's really pretty more functional stuff like blank half circles flags a habit tracker some build do stickers then you get this one big sticker that says plan which I think is really pretty this sheet I really like as well. You get some washi strips, more labels, you get all your date covers, and again, I, I'm a really big fan of this font. I think it's so pretty. Then we have some of the gorgeous functional deco that you guys know I'm a sucker for. Squeaky clean, payday, laundry day, coffee before talkie, move those legs. I think that that's really cute. Happy mail, date night, and buy some groceries. You have your headers and your little things. And then lastly, you have the beautiful washi. And these scissors are actually available at Target. And I'm always skipping out on them because, Kiara, I'm like, I don't need giant Eiffel Tower scissors, even though I really want them. But now that I have the kit, I like feel like I have to buy them. So I have to, right? So again, this is called the Page Kit. And I want to say that she also offers all of her stickers in horizontal as well because I think I remember seeing that option in her shop. And these are also really affordable as well. This kit comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sheets, uh, all on a really beautiful premium matte paper. Really gorgeous. Quality is all there, and it's just $20. So that is a really good deal. And like I mentioned, Alexandra was so nice and actually sent in another kit for me, which is beautiful. I was considering getting this, but I decided to just limit myself to one. I try to do that when I buy from a shop from the first time, but I'm actually really grateful that she sent this because you guys know that this is up my alley with the colors. This is called the Zara kit. So here we have the full boxes. I love the glasses and more of these little girls that are popping up a lot with the massive sunglasses. And again, I just love the color scheme, the black, the white, and this super pastel pink. I think it's so light that you can't see it, but it's beautiful. You have the ombre heart checklist, the half boxes checklist, and some labels, your icons, flags, and all of the functional stickers. This sheet, I love these date covers too with the glasses. I think the glasses are my favorite print. And then all of the gorgeous deco. You have headers and little things, and then lastly, the bottom washi, and I love it. I, I've mentioned this all the time, but I love this really big, bold, graphic bottom washi. I think that it's gorgeous. So this is the Zara kit, and again, that was Paper Dove Shop, and you guys, it's worth the hype. I love it. Just get ready because it's so close to me that I know that I'm going to be buying so much just because I know that it's going to get to me really, really quickly. I'm so excited about that. So last, but definitely not least, in fact, quite the opposite, probably saving one of the best for last, I have an order from Two Little Bees. Uh, was this her Labor Day sale? I want to say that it was, like an early Labor Day sale, but I got two gorgeous, gorgeous kits. I'm so excited to have these because Two Little Bees has always been one of my very top shops. I've mentioned this a few times, but it's actually the first shop that I ever purchased stickers from, and I'm super honored to have Maria as a dear friend. But you guys also love Two Little Bees. Anytime that I do a video with Two Little Bees, stickers in it, or I mention them in a haul, you guys are all about it. So I'm excited to show you guys more of that as well. So right here I have two kits that I think are so gorgeous. So I will show them to you, of course. So the first kit that we have here, actually I don't want to say kit because usually I like to think of Maria stickers more as like collections and you can kind of pick and choose what you'd like to get. But I always use just kit in my head. But this collection is the Pumpkin Spice collection and it is just everything good and fall and incredible. So this first sheet here, we have little planners, little coffees, I guess they're like pumpkin spice lattes, more planners, and then some cute little bear deco with like a holding a latte and next to like a hot chocolate. Adorable. One thing that I did want to mention, you guys, is that 
I noticed just how affordable two little bee stickers are considering that they're really beautiful, great quality, great shipping, and they're all glossy. They're only about $3.50 a sheet. Some of the bigger deco sheets, probably like this one, are $5, but I think just about everything else that I got aside from these sheets is only $3.50. And when you think about it, considering that they're glossy and considering that some other shops can charge upwards of like five or even six dollars per sheet, really, really affordable. Also, you should definitely join her Facebook group because I think we had like early access to this or we had like a special coupon. So definitely join her Facebook group too. So here I have the pumpkin spice deco sheet. We have a little fall banner, mason jars. I love when she includes the bikes. I don't know why I love bike stickers. I haven't written a bike in years and years, but I think that they're so cute. And then of course you guys know that I love foxes. I've mentioned that they're like the puppies of the fall and you guys know how I feel about puppies. <laughs> Here we have just this sheet with flags, circles, some font circles, longer flags, and then some hexagons. This sheet here has some of these clipboard full boxes. I won't really call them checklists because there's nothing really to check off, but you can easily make them into checklists. I've done that myself. Our half boxes and then some of these little arrows. We have the headers and the little things, and I love these colors. Again, I like the deeper. This is such a gorgeous, neutral, dark shade of brown with the softer pastels. So pretty. We have the actual checklist boxes, the full boxes, which are so cute. I love this one that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. It's so sweet. And then lastly, we have the bottom washi. I just love this kit. I always like to get her fall kits. They're just so well done and so classic and just like so traditionally fall. I think that this is gorgeous. And then the very last kit of this video is this absolutely beautiful kit. This is her Planner Girl kit and this is the fall edition of the Planner Girl kit. If you remember earlier on in the summertime, she had a Planner Girl kit and I actually did a plan with me on it just about a week and a half ago, I think, so I'll have that linked up below if you want to see it. Everyone loved that kit. It was so popular, so she did sort of a fall rendition, which is just absolutely incredible. It's so gorgeous. Probably my favorite part is the deco sheet. I love fall. We've got umbrellas typewriter, a little drink, the page flags, the planner girl quote again, and then the girls on this sheet are all dressed so adorably for fall. They've got little hats and berets, little dresses and jackets. I honestly wish that I had each of their outfits, especially her. That is me with a little yellow beret and a little dress. I need that outfit like yesterday. Next we have the incredible full boxes. I think what really sold me was this box here. I just love the addition of like the mustard yellow for fall with the bows. I mean you guys know how I feel about yellow but I think that this is such a rich shade especially with the navy and the pink. I also love navy. I love navy so much. We have the headers and the little things. A massive sheet of half boxes. The other Planner Girl kit came with this many half boxes too, as well as like her travel kit and one of her mystery kits. And this is so good because I usually don't use more than eight in a full spread. So then you have like another eight if you decide to do like a, a personal kit or a plan as I go spread or just something smaller with white space. So good. The incredible bottom washi and washi strips, which are just gorgeous. This is everything. It reminds me a lot of Rifle Paper Co., which makes like adorable, beautiful stationery. This is so reminiscent of that, and I love it. Again, we have the clipboard boxes with some of the little arrows on top. I love these too. I love these checklists. I like that they don't have the lines. I prefer them without the lines, and I just love how she does them sort of like color blocking. And then lastly, we have this sheet here, which is just sort of like the functional sheet with all your flags and circles. So again, this is the fall version of the Planner Girl kit. I think it's still available. Definitely check out her shop. You guys know that I love Two Little Bees. It's everything. I, I can't wait to use this kit in particular. This one is coming soon, you guys. You just wait and see. Probably in like two weeks. I can't hold off on this. It's so gorgeous. So yeah guys, with that, that is the end of this haul video. Not quite as massive as my other ones, but like I mentioned, I still have a lot of mail coming in from some Labor Day sales as well as from some birthday shopping that I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite kit in this video is. 
and the one that you guys would like to see me use next and I will definitely do my best to do that for you guys. Until the next time you guys, please take care and thank you so much for watching. We will chat soon. Bye bye!